Every single time you cross the border, you will, one way or another, you will save a dollar. As British Columbians are pushed south of the border for lower gas prices, debate continues as to whether BC should scrap its carbon tax. With Greater Vancouver gas prices hitting $2.11 and counting. Our ranges are roughly between 50 to 60 cents difference on uh, diesel per liter. Uh, and then roughly on regular, we're roughly at uh, 40, 50 percent uh, uh, cents per liter. The owner of a gas station in Point Roberts, an American town that's only accessible by land through Canada, says business has been booming, particularly as travelers realize there's an exemption that allows Canadians returning from Point Roberts to forgo the usual COVID-19 testing requirements as long as they fill out the Arrive Can app. Like, look, I'm looking at the camera right now. A lot of cars are pulling in and pulling out. So it's obviously making a difference if I can just, you know, like show you right here, you know, just cars are going in and out just because, you know, like they're starting to slowly know now. One point, Robert's resident even spotted a man dangerously filling actual buckets full of gas at a local station. Back here in Canada, the Surrey Board of Trade is now calling on BC to halt its carbon tax, which currently costs Metro Vancouver drivers an additional 18.5 cents per liter, which goes to TransLink to help pay for local transit. We know that global circumstances are very challenging right now, but the bottom line erosion for businesses is simply unacceptable. Really, what we want the BC government to do is to at least commit to a comprehensive comprehensive review of all of the taxes in British Columbia. And uh, if, if they do that, that would be a step in the right direction. But Werner Antweiler with UBC's Sauter School of Business says that pausing or scrapping the carbon tax would be the wrong move. It's putting a price on pollution and it's necessary uh, revenue wise to help us finance a transition away from fossil fuels. So we need that revenue and giving up this revenue right now makes absolutely no sense. Instead, uh, we actually need to accelerate our transition away from fossil fuels. We don't want to be more dependent on fossil fuels. We want to be less dependent on fossil fuels. Other experts say the circumstances in Russia and Ukraine are still too unpredictable to know when we might see some relief at the pumps. Ashley Burr, City News.